Okay, so I'm at 242 uh, South Bedford, Beverly Hills, uh, 90212. So this would be the typical Beverly Hills. Um, it's a five bedroom, six bath, and the square feet is 3,753 uh, square feet, which is really large, I mean, pretty large. And then the lot size is 7,651, listed at $4.795 million. It's just listed by Mark, uh, Michael Norman. And uh, it's listed by Norman and Associate. So I believe Michael Norman will be the founder of this great brokerage. And actually Michael gave me a permission to film, which is great. Now here, um, I recently moved my office to, I, I recently relocated my office to uh, Beverly Hills. And as I walked through, I noticed that a lot of the uh, Spanish homes uh, prevails in Beverly Hills and that's kind of interesting. So here check that out. That's a great uh, Spanish home with a lot of banana trees that provides a privacy. This home what's great about it is it's also a, a Spanish and it has a tree so these kind of trees were supposed to be given by the city I think. However if you look at that home right that home doesn't have a tree but it is still gorgeous looking. Maybe yeah Anyway, look at the tree lines. You know, the neighborhood is pretty fascinating. Now, uh, my brokerage manager once told me that uh, a lot of the, uh, in the 1940s and 50s, um, the city of LA had uh, what's called the, uh, oh, I forgot, I forgot the exact word, but basically the Persian and Jews weren't able to live in Hancock Park because they had what's called the, uh, ah, shoot, I forgot the word, I'm getting old. So they basically had to move, uh, move to Beverly Hills. And uh, so there's a little bit of a history. Uh, and then I also noticed that a lot of the uh, Spanish homes exist in Beverly Hills. And I'm, I'm thinking, I think I'm, I, I need to do a lot of fact check on this one, but Spanish home basically is the influence from the uh, house from the uh, Islam world, I think. And, you can kind of see that in the archway and then like the courtyard but that has to be of course fact, fact checked thoroughly now let's take a look at the tours and uh check out this beautiful homes okay so one thing i notice is is that it's a beautiful gardening here and then the, this home just itself is pretty much completed to perfection so you see the what do you call it a uh, garden looks fantastic right so let's go in here garden looks beautiful look at this like it's it's very well maintained and you got this privacy tree right over here oh man yeah and then these tiles are just a perfect definition for the spanish home right and then look at this it just looks gorgeous right and then they got the olive trees right over there and this courtyard is just magnificent and then they even have this like a, what do you call it a ivy trees hanging on the wall that just looks beautiful right and then during the summertime, I can easily see that uh, they can open up the windows and then it's just going to be beautiful here, man. So well maintained. Yeah, this would be the perfect, perfect Spanish home. Okay, so and then you check out the floor. This looks stunning, right? I like this floor, especially near the entrance, right? So it can give a sense of, uh, what do you call it, a uh, luxury. And then you can kind of even show how beautiful this home is for all the guests. And I think that's also another significant factor when you're buying this kind of price point uh, homes. And then as you walk in, this will be the official dining area. Yep, it is. Okay, so they got a plenty of space around here. And this will be the original floor right here. Okay, yep. And then you can open up that door and then maybe enjoy the dessert at the uh, courtyard, right? And then let's check out the uh, kitchen. Yep, they got this uh, very good size uh, Iceland with a, what do you call it? A chair stool you can sit on, right? Black and white, gives a great sense. Let me see. Yeah, they got a butler's kitchen or, no, this would be a, more like a laundry room. Let's see. Okay. The floor looks clean. Oh, I see. Large fridge. 
And then a little bit of a whip bar, and then this would be like a breakfast nook. I see. And then a little bit of an office space right here for the wife, maybe. And then, yeah, this used to be a very popular style uh, in the LA. I think it's for the uh, mid century kind of home. It's very, um, what do you call it, uh, sturdy. And it serves well for the homes. Now, let's check out the. Uh, this will be the living room that opens up directly to the uh, backyard. Beautiful, and we'll, ch we'll check out the uh, backyard later on. And look at this. This home has a very interesting texture. Uh, I see. Yeah, it's very well maintained. Okay, yep, it's the listing agent. Okay, so they got a little bit of an office space, I think, here. Okay, or library, I think. And then it is close to the entrance, so you can shape, which you can see here. Carpet is here, so... And then, okay, so this would be a perfect place to put some kind of a stature. And what's remarkable about this home, look at this lighting, it's beautiful. And that's the skylight right over there. Yeah, I love this home that has this skylight that pours in a lot of the light in here. Again, original floors. We'll check out this one first. Oh yeah, that's a small window. That's beautiful. Yeah, and then, oh, they, they turned this into a bedroom. Would this be a master bedroom? Okay, they got a fireplace here. A lot of spacious windows. So this would be a Juliet balcony, right? And you open this up and then you got a little bit of a balcony right there. And then a perfect privacy. Oh, this would be the neighborhood. Again, similar style with the courtyard, right? I see. Okay. And then they got the bathroom right over here. Oh, marble. So you can see that uh, if this wasn't a white color, then it would have been a little bit of a dark space. However, they put the skylight here and then the reflection rate goes much higher and then it makes the room very brighter shower place here okay so toiletry here separate so, right so the smells are going to be contained and the bathtub ah it should be a love seat i think and then the love seats i believe uh has some great connotation okay so this would be a closet one Closet two, very clean. This would be a great closet for a shoe lover. You can see this would be the for the shoes. Yeah, I see. Okay, and then yeah, this would be a makeup room, right? And then great mirrors here, and then lights are. They do need a little bit of a side light around here to make the face brighter, but they have the uh backlit skylight coming in so maybe it's good enough right then again this provides a privacy and uh good light right okay so let's go in here okay hello let's check out this bedroom okay this bedroom might be a little bit dark but that's okay you got a big window here and then, okay, that would be a closet, right? Additional closet here, and then bathroom. Oh, why do I feel like this is a more like a mid-century bathroom, huh? I see. So they maintain this bathroom very clean. It's got this uh, traditional tile, which I think is cool. And then usually this kind of small tile serves the purpose of preventing the slippery. And then... Yes, they got a toiletry right over here. I see. Oh, they got this, uh, what do you call it? fans around here? I see, okay. Ah, oh, but look at this skylight. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, that's where you need to put the skylight. And then central AC right over here. And then, ah, uh, additional bedroom slash bathroom. Okay, so this would be the closet. I see. Good walk-in closet. 
And then bathrooms are also very well stylized. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Oh, they maintained it really well. Okay, let's check out the backyard, which I think is terrific. Okay. So here. Look at this. That will be the swimming pool with the waterfalls. And then look at this. Those are the hedges that provide a complete privacy and oasis for this home kind of home. And then they got this uh, jacuzzi right over here. I love this like a waterfall right over here. What would this be? I wanna always kind of check it out. Yeah, okay. I see. And then they got an additional bedroom here. And we're gonna go up there. Okay. This would be living room. Oh, so this would be a perfect space for the uh, guest. But this could be a bedroom too. It has a bathroom, closet. So additional bedroom. Right. And then. Oh, this is where the uh, additional bedroom here. Okay, so two bedrooms here, three bedrooms up there. Uh, I see. Okay, so they got a closet and then a bathroom here. So let's say that if your kids have grown up to a teenager, you throw them in here and then you can enjoy the private life while also have a tight family relationship. You need a little bit of a distance with your teenage kids, I think. Now this should be the Garage still maintained, so let's check out the garage. Yeah, so this would be like a great home for typical Beverly Hills family who wants to live in a great neighborhood. And then, yes, the garage are still maintained throughout. Let me see. What's this area? Okay. They got an additional storage space. Okay. We'll just take a little bit of a walk to the courtyard. Yep, that's right. So you can park the car in here, you can put it here. So maybe you can put at least one, two, three, four, five, six cars in here. And then still maintain the, uh, what do you call it, a courtyard. Yeah, this house just looks very handsome. I see. So that was it. That was the $5 million property uh, Spanish home in Beverly Hills. Thank you for watching the video, guys.